Okay, get yourself some dish soap. Spray a little bit around this edge of this tire here. And you can run it over with your rig and usually get that bead loose. Okay, here's one way to break a bead if you need to pull the tire off. Break that bead. Got a little silver out on the edge here. It's almost busted, not quite. I'll probably have to turn it and then go and hit this edge here. That's how you break that bead. And then you get your tire off. Also got one of these. If you have a hydraulic jack, you can also stick the jack under. You can set the tire under your frame and stick the jack on the edge and pump the jack out and pull it off that way. That's one way to pull the tire off the bead so you can put another one on. Okay, yeah, it's quite a muscle job here to try and get this off. Basically, um, if you have something like this, this one's actually hollow, which is not a good thing to use. You have a solid one, you stick it in there, then you pound on it, and uh, it, uh, it may pull that, pull that bead over there. Um, you can also use vice grips to hold it to where it's, it's going to stay over there. And then you can use, you, know, you can screwdriver it over. And what I did is I got it started with these big bars, these bigger bars here. And then I started using the smaller screwdriver. And it's coming slowly. Okay, so you have to look and see which side this indentation is on. This indentation it's on one side of the rim and so basically it goes over on this picture it's over to your left so the indentation is further to the left than it is to the right that's the side you want to take the tire off okay this gap here this gap here and that gap there this gap here and that gap there this gap on this side is what else the distance between the outer edge of the rim and the inner whatever indentation you want to go to that side so in other words this far gap here you don't want to take it off on this side you want to take it on the smaller gap in this case it's out through the front okay so taking it off yeah so actually we're taking it off through the front because this this is larger than this you want to put something underneath so you can put pressure on that rim as you take this off Basically, it's looking something like this. I have to use both hands and my feet to do this, so, but you can... Okay, got my exercise for today. Finally got it off. See, I put that underneath so it has pressure on the rim to pull out. And uh, I use the vice grips to make sure that it didn't back off when I start pulling it off the rim. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.